Hi everyone, it's me again with another moose hunting video. Today we are hunting in the tall trees area. There are four spawn points in this location and we will be hunting at spawn point A, which I'll refer to as tall trees L because it's located next to the L of the tall trees on the map. You can hunt both genders of moose at this spawn point, but it is important to know that hunting a bull moose at this spawn point would reveal a moose map icon to us. To be precise, you don't actually need to hunt the bull moose to get the map icon. Just looking at it through your binoculars would reveal the map icon. If you don't have the moose map icon already, it is something to consider. I'm splitting this video into two parts. The first part is for players who are playing as Arthur and enjoy challenges. And the second part is for those who play as John, even though the process is exactly the same. The hunting process itself is pretty straightforward and doesn't need much explaining. However, due to Arthur's obvious limitation, you may face certain obstacles which I will explain as we go through the hunting process. The optimum time for hunting is between 10 and 12, so plan your travel accordingly. Be at this location between 9.30 to 10 and make a fallback save. Then, ride towards the spawn point as fast as you can. Yeah. Keep moving forward and avoid getting into a shootout with the Pinkertons. If you are at the early stages of the game and are unfamiliar with this area, look at my minimap to see where I'm going. And there is our first moose. If the spawned moose is not what you want, reload your fallback save and try again till you get what you want. Once you spawn the moose that you want, you need to work as fast as possible. Before skinning the moose, check your map to ensure there are no Pinkertons nearby and if possible, make a save so that even if you get killed, you can reload the save file and return to this point and the carcass will still be here. Here you can see that the Pinkertons were very close to me, but since I was not actively being chased, I could make a save. It would be helpful to mark the location where you hunted okay. the moose on your map by placing a map marker. This will make it easy to locate yep. a spot when you need to return to it. Now I just have to find a good opportunity to skin the moose when no Pinkertons are nearby. Man. 
Your map and mini map are your best friends. So keep using them frequently to ensure you are at the safe distance from the Pinkertons. There we go. Make sure you have a safe distance from Pinkertons before skinning the moose. If you skin the moose and for some reason can't stow it on the back of your horse, it would be lost if left unattended. Shh, girl, won't take long. This is our newly discovered moose icon. It took five minutes. Let's try one more time and see what we might encounter. Whoa. 
there is no moose now, so I decide to ride around a bit and give the moose some more time to spawn. There are some wolves to the right of this big rock, so try to avoid that area. Take note of where I am going. This place is a wonderful place to hide from the Pinkertons. And our moose has spawned. Hunt it as fast as possible. Yep. Slow up now. Making sure it is safe to skin it. Pinkertons are too close and I don't have enough time to skin the moose, so I make a safe. Now I have to look for an opportunity to skin the moose. Constantly checking the map to make sure no Pinkertons are around. Once I feel safe enough, I go for the skinning. You can see how convenient it is to have that marker on the map. I know, girl, just give me a second. As soon as the skinning is done, I try to make another save. This will ensure that even if I get killed now, I still get to keep the pelt on my horse when I respawn. Hey, easy. 
In total, it took about 15 minutes to get two three-star moves. Okay, let's see how John does the same thing. His hunting is quite straightforward because he doesn't have any of the restrictions that Arthur does. Be in front of the Beecher's Hope entrance around 10.30 and make a fallback save. Then, right to the exact same place as Arthur did. It is a two star moose, so we need to try again. Here I just wanted to show the exact place where the moose is found for players who may not be familiar with this area. Where John is standing is where the moose spawns, and the dead tree is the marker for you to take note of. Oh, 
This ain't the girl I know. <laughs> Slow it! It took under 10 minutes. Well, that is all there is to it. I will upload a new video perhaps by tomorrow showcasing a couple of Arthur's successful hunts to show various encounters and how to handle them. Since not all hunts are the same, it will hopefully provide you with some additional information. On that note, I wish you luck in your hunt and look forward to seeing you in the next video soon. Have a great day wherever you are.